Well, with the storm moving through the entire state, Governor Holcomb and several state agencies are working closely with local officials to respond. Indiana has activated the National Guard to help with the effort. CBS 4's Kristen Eskow is at the State House now, where the governor held a news conference this morning. State officials say what makes this storm so unique is its statewide impact. No part of the state is expected to be left untouched by this winter weather. That's why state agencies are coordinating with local officials in all of Indiana's 92 counties to ensure Hoosiers stay safe. In my five years here, this is the first truly statewide weather um, event. Governor Eric Holcomb says Indiana is prepared for the winter storm. The Indiana Department of Transportation says nearly a thousand plow and salt trucks are on the highways across the state. They've been out since early Wednesday morning. More than 1,500 NDOT employees will be on hand for the full call and they will work in 12 hour shifts. Uh, NDOT Commissioner Joe McGinnis says one of the challenges of this storm is pre treating the roads effectively. That's because of the rain that's moved through many parts of the state immediately before the sleet and snow. The highways, they will develop slick spots and the snow will stick to the highways. State officials are urging drivers to stay off the roads as much as possible. State Police Superintendent Doug Carter warns Hoosiers, even first responders vehicles have limits. And if we get 12 to 14 inches of snow, um, we're going to have a very difficult time uh, getting to you and likely will not be able to. And I hate saying that to you, but I, I think it's important that we talk about the reality of what this could mean. Carter says if you need to be on the roads and get stranded, don't get out of your car and walk around. State officials say 240 National Guard soldiers will be deployed across Indiana to patrol the roads and help drivers. We have the resources to weather this storm. What we really need is cooperation. State officials say if you absolutely have to be on the road, give those plow and salt trucks plenty of room during this storm and don't tailgate. The governor also reminding Hoosiers that if you see a downed power line, don't touch it, don't go near it, report it to your power company. At the State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News.